With the various update coming by in Asphalt 9 Legends, it looks like the game is slowly becoming more and more pay to win, so with no further ado, let's get into the video. Asphalt 9 is marketed as one of the best free mobile arcade racing games but, over the years it has turned into a free to download but pay to play kind of game. Let me tell you the reasons why I think so. First, when Gameloft first introduced the Legends Pass, it was 40 days long and the cars were actually decent for events and sometimes even for multiplayer. But now the pass lasts for a mere 28 days and the cars are absolute trash. Second, features like, overclock, already gave a slightly unfair advantage to players with overclock chips or the overclock pass. But, recently they reduced the overclock time limit to 24 hours if you overclock cars with overclock chips, luring players to buy the overclock pass for grand prixes in multiplayer. Third, recently the special events are getting harder and harder to complete with majority of the cars requiring car keys to unlock. There are no key packs for them in the store, and the keys will only be granted if all conditions are completed, this is very unfair in my opinion as it forces players to spend not only on the main special event car, but also on its support cars, which is a very high amount spent. Fourth, certain special events such as the Drive Syndicate are impossible to complete without spending real money. Also, great cars such as the Devel 16 are mostly introduced in events such as Drive Syndicates. Fifth, I have noticed that over the years, Gameloft decreased the amount of credits and tokens received in daily events, special events and multiplayer. With lesser and lesser tokens, players would at least have to buy a few to keep up with the latest cars released in the game. Sixth, Gameloft is slowly increasing the prices of bundles, for example, the Koenigsegg CCXR car key used to be worth 4,499 rupees but recently, it was sold in the shop for 8,900 rupees. That is a very high price increase an unaware player could buy the bundle. Lastly, the rewards given in multiplayer are not sufficient. In Asphalt 9 China, the multiplayer mode is much more rewarding and has much better card packs and a greater amount of tokens in multiplayer milestones. These features should also be implemented in Asphalt 9 as it would not only encourage players to play more multiplayer and could increase the game's popularity as a multiplayer racing game. Please comment your opinions on these points on this video. Hope you enjoyed, please like and subscribe and have a great day ahead, peace out.